Hello, I'm Jose Luis Crespo. Welcome to I God. Today is the Wednesday after Epiphany. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of getting on a plane and giving up control. I don't make this fear of mine obvious. I get on a plane seemingly calm, but I really don't like how I feel when I get on a plane. Most of the time I get on a plane and I'm flying for hours over some big body of water like the Pacific Ocean on our way to Manila. If that's not bad enough, I don't like the feeling that if something catastrophic should happen, I can't do anything except leave matters in God's hands. In today's gospel, after feeding the 5,000, Jesus sends his disciples on a boat to precede him to Bethsaida. So Jesus is left alone on shore, and after praying, he notices the disciples' boat being tossed about in the wind, which was blowing against them. So what does Jesus do? He waits. The gospel says in Mark chapter 6, verse 48, about the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. And then the gospel says in the next verse, he meant to pass by them. Let's pause and think about this. It was late by the time Jesus fed the 5,000, just before sunset, probably. If Jesus saw the boat being tossed around, there must have still been some sunlight. It must have been, I would say, between 5 and 6 p.m. Do you think the disciples were afraid? So Jesus lets more than nine hours go by, and after the fourth watch of the night, which is between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., he decides to walk on the water, just meaning to pass them by. So he let them suffer in fear for their lives, and then walks by them just to say, hi. We might ask, what was he up to? So the disciples, all of them terrified by now, finally get Jesus by the boat. And the gospel account continues with the point of all of these incidents in Mark chapter 6, verses 50 to 52. But at once he spoke with them, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Let us pray. Father, I know you love me because you sent your only son to redeem me. I will endeavor to love my neighbor as you love me, so that we may bring your love to perfection in us and no longer be afraid. I ask this in your son's name, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. If you find these daily meditations helpful, please share them with others. And if you would like to partner with us in this endeavor, please consider supporting us for as little as $1 a day to ensure that these messages continue to reach a world hungry for the Word of God all around the world. Thank you very much, and God bless us all.